walk in our side door, you come straight into the kitchen. And so this is the kitchen right now. We are gonna be doing a few different things. We're gonna be painting out the walls for sure. If you wanna paint them out white, you can come on over in here. And we're gonna be painting out the cabinets and potentially doing a couple other things. We're leaving it pretty open right now. We're very excited to finally have an island. It's a big deal because we had no space in our previous kitchen, so very excited for that. So, um, you can come on in, and if you look at the floors too, you'll see these were the original, um, I think they were close to original um, oak floors. They were not, here before. Not oak, hickory. No, these ones are oak, he said. Okay. These ones are hickory. living room and I think what's kind of the coolest part about this living room is that all of this was done by the previous owners all of these built-ins I love all the shelving and this right here actually is what's gonna hide the TV and the slider system that is used here was actually from the original barn this house was built in 1894 so it was real, real old <laughs> and um, we're just I just love all the little details that are in this house that give it so much character. That's why we just fell in love with it immediately. And then this is the fireplace. It is a wood burning fireplace. I think we are going to take this terracotta color that's in here and kind of take that out and maybe whitewash this a little bit and then paint out all the walls. Now, if you come in here, this is gonna be a huge project. So this, if you step back and you look at the doorway here, this doorway, we are going to be putting, um, uh, what do you call them? Sliding doors. <laughs> what do you call it? Um, they're, oh, but it's okay. You can say it. It's fine. I can clip it out. <laughs> so these are going to be the uh, sliding barn doors. And we're going to close off this space so that in here, this little room right here is going to end up being our master closet. So we're going to be putting a full closet system in here and it's going to go along this entire wall. So this will basically just completely um, separate the two rooms. And the reason we're putting the closet here is because we also have our master on the main. So let's show you that. So this is the master bedroom. Right now it is a yellow and all of our furniture right now is like a gray and white and blues and greens. So we're probably gonna just paint this out white for the time being and figure out what we wanna do. Most of this we're gonna be painting out ASAP just to start fresh. I just want a clean slate. Love all the hardwoods in here. It's so good. Okay, so this is the master bath. So they actually added this on um, with the last owners. They were here for about 15 years. And so we're actually planning because I'm super, super short. I cannot even hardly see, I can only see up to like here <laughs> on these right now and I need more direct lighting. So in our previous house, we had added LED mirrors um, in our bathroom and we're gonna do the same thing in here. So we're gonna be taking these down, um, but everything else in here is really beautiful. I, I am, I'm very happy with everything else in here. We just need more lighting for makeup. Okay, and this room right here, you can just kind of peek in here real quick. This is gonna be the spare bedroom. Um, this is gonna be a project probably later on the list. And then, okay, this is, I think, really cool. I'm pretty sure this was original to the house. So it's over 100 years old, and it's just like, it's just really cool to me. I think it looks like an upside down acorn. I don't know, you tell me. So this room over here is kind of like your walk-through random room. It's probably gonna act like an, a second entertainment space for us since we don't have a basement. The basement is like all sandstone and not finishable. This will just be kind of a later down the road project, I think. And then this over here is going to be Ryan's office. He gets the old horse room. <laughs> um, so this is going to be another um, work in progress. Okay, so now this is my favorite room in the house. I'm so excited because this is my office. And they called it the library before the previous owners did, but this is now my new office and shooting space. And I just absolutely love it. There are so many windows in here. If you look, there is a window on this side, 
window on the south facing side and there's also a skylight if you look over here so the skylight it just, it just finishes off the space so beautifully um i ended up hanging here i probably basically paint every single room because that's what i do and then these built in I love them so much and they're all adjustable and I just can't wait to bring in all my plants even though I kill my plants a lot of times. <laughs> I'm really bad at taking care of them but I have plastic plants too. Yeah and then all my hair products and beauty products and everything and then over here if you look at this like kind of like blank inset wall this wall is going to be where I'm going to be using a lot of my backgrounds and where you'll be seeing most of my like YouTube and IGTV videos being shot. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite parts because the house came with chickens and I'm super excited about it. So this is their roof and it matches everything else with the house and I just I'm so excited about it. We are going to, I don't know what they've laid in the eggs today. I'm probably not yet. I can't tell. I'm too short. <laughs> hey babies! How are you? Hi! So they were just roaming around earlier. They are free range and we have three hens. So I'm super excited about them. Alright, so now that you've seen the chicken, we're gonna go to the outbuilding, which is right here, but the entrance is on the other side. Ryan's favorite place. This is his heated workshop. It is going to be a work in progress as well. So he doesn't really have anything in here yet, but we're very excited about it. And then over here, we have an area that has so much potential and we're super excited because this whole area is completely unfinished. And I think we want to make it into like a complete indoor outdoor living space. Maybe where we set up like a bar, on this wall and we keep it all open air and I'm just super excited and then we have this huge big barn door right here I don't even know how to open it We're doing a lot of research on them right now and all we know is if you're from the Wisconsin area you can go to Farm and Fleet and there's a chicken section and that is where I'm going to be going because I got a lot of learning to do. <laughs> so the wind here was really bad so I had to do a little bit of a voiceover so I'm hoping that's okay. We're heading over to the apple tree area. We have four of them and they're all different varietals. So I'm gonna go ahead and start explaining over here, but sorry for the wind. The wind was really bad that day. They are done organic. So they have a lot of bugs on them right now. <laughs> um, so we'll see how those go. We might have to do a little bit more to them next year. We just got in the house, so. Um, and then these ones, I think they're just so pretty. Um, I think they're just like red, maybe like the Red Delicious. I'm not completely sure. I'll have to do more research on what exactly each tree is. We have a little garden over here that is just pure weeds right now. Um, so we're not really sure what we're going to do with that. Probably going to take care of that next year. But yeah, that is going to conclude the entire house tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed. And if you want to follow along as we do more DIY projects, we're going to be doing a lot of different things throughout the house over the next couple years. So make sure to hit that like button and hit the bell icon so that you're always up to date on all my latest tutorials, DIYs, etc. Have a great day guys.